This is an excerpt of a recent power-up webinar on the basics of editing in Adobe Premiere Pro. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I'll illustrate how to review and mark clips in Premiere. I've already explained that to play a clip, we hit the spacebar. But there's other ways that we can play a clip. If you type the letter L, and then type it again, and type it again, suddenly we're in a high-speed playback with the letter L, K, to stop. J plays in reverse, double click J to go double speed back, triple click it, and quadruple click it. The more times you type J, the faster in reverse it goes. The more times you type L, the faster forward it goes. K to stop in both cases. Hold K and L down. K and L goes slow motion forward. K and J goes slow motion back. Without even hitting the space bar, I can high speed fast forward, forward and back throughout the clip. Or I can grab the playhead as we saw earlier and drag it back and forth. One of the things Vince is known for, he's based in British Columbia, Canada, and believes in traditional farming methods. And so he teaches how to do farming the way it was done 100, 150 years ago, which frankly I do not ever want to have to do, but it makes for some gorgeous pictures. So I want to have my shot start right here, type the letter I, and I set an in. This is the beginning of my media clip on the hard disk, but the shot that I want starts here. I'm going to go a little bit forward, and the shot that I want ends right there. I'm going to type the letter O. This represents the start of the clip I'm going to use in a timeline. This represents the end of the clip I'm going to use in a timeline. The distance, the duration between these two is 11.05. In other words, the number on the right shows the duration of the clip or the duration between the in and the out. You can change the in by clicking and dragging. You can change the out by clicking and dragging. You can even change the position by grabbing in the middle and dragging back and forth. I use this for B-roll a lot. If you want to jump the playhead to the end, type Shift-I, that jumps the playhead to the end. Shift-O jumps the playhead to the out. Option-I deletes the in. Option-O deletes the out. I'm going to just set a, an in here and an out here. Notice I'm not spending any time playing it because I want to show you how the software works, not how to pick the best possible shot. One more keyboard shortcut is Option-X. Option X deletes the in and the out at the same time. I sets the in, shift I jumps the playhead to the in, option I deletes the in. O sets the out, shift O jumps the playhead to the out, option O deletes the out, and option X deletes the in and the out at the same time. So we'll say, let's set the in here, I, and we'll set the out there, O. Notice that the time code for the playhead does not start at zero. That's because when this shot was recorded, that was the time code it was using. Again, there's no relationship between time of day and time code. It's just an address for each frame. And the shot that I've chosen runs 16 seconds and two frames. If you want to see the picture full screen, press the tilde key and we're full screen which is kind of cool, tilde key to get us back down again. By the way, in addition to importing clips, we can create what are called synthetic clips inside Premiere. If I go to File, New, I can create a caption file, a universal counting leader, that's where it counts down, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, bars and tone for standard def, black video, which is just black, bars and tone for high def, because they're not the same, a solid color, transparent video. All of this synthetic video is created inside Premiere and we access it using File New. Now there's actually a second way that we can do it and I'll get to that in just a second. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar on the basics of editing in Adobe Premiere Pro. For the complete version of this online training please visit our store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 282. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. 
You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only nineteen ninety nine. That's more than nineteen hundred movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.